Hi YouTube. Uh, in this video I'll be talking about Taiwan bees. Uh, I absolutely love these shrimp. Uh, there's some more here. Now, I'll basically be discussing how to keep these shrimp and uh, how to keep them healthy and how to make them breed. Just random facts that um, I've learnt over the years. Uh, <clears throat> well, the first thing that you'll need is, um, of course, uh, a tank full of water and some moss. So up here, this is weeping moss. Now it doesn't have to be weeping moss, but uh, you will need some kind of moss for the shrimp to breed and to feed off. What they like doing is basically using their little arms and they pick all the um, all the extra sort of bits of food floating around in the tank um, and other critters off the leaves and they lay their babies uh, inside the moss. Uh, let's see if I can find any. Uh, looks like I can't find any today because they're all hiding, but trust me, there's like a hundred in there. So um, you'll need uh, some type of moss, as many types of mosses. There's uh, weeping moss, willow moss, Java moss, peacock moss, Singapore moss. Oh, they're the few that I can name, but the most common is Java moss. Um, you can pick them up at the pet store. The second thing you will need is uh, some kind of substrate. Now, substrate is the, basically it's the soil of the, of the aquarium. And it's important because you need something to reduce the pH of the water. So what I've got here is ADA aqua soil. Very good at growing plants, but um, you can use other types of soil as well. You can use cow aqua, aqua soil, but you need something to drop the pH of the water and buffer it around about 6.5-ish. You can, you can do other things, like you can add driftwood to the tank. So you can see I've got driftwood here. Driftwood will also uh, drop the pH to around about 6.5 to 7. And that's just perfect to have it around about sort of that kind of pH. <clears throat> now, Apart from the pH of the water, the most important thing uh, in keeping these shrimp is filtration. Uh, why filtration? Well, when these shrimp do their little poos, they pollute the water. So what filtration does is it grows bacteria in the filter. And what this bacteria does is it breaks the poo down which is ammonia into nitrites and nitrates and this is further broken down into oxygen and nitrogen so if you don't have a good filter your water gets polluted and if your water gets polluted with ammonia your shrimp will die so good filtration is very important now what kind of filtration am I using here? I'm using a canister filter. So the problem with a canister filter is, if you have a look, there's the inlet there. The shrimp gets sucked up into that inlet. But, you know, um, uh, this is not only a shrimp tank. This is, this is a tank for the fishes and it's a tank for the plants as well. So if you want a tank that only keeps that only houses shrimp then I recommend you get um, a sponge filter 
uh, a sponge filter you can pick up from your pet store for around about 10 bucks. So <clears throat> that's my sort of five minutes on how to keep Taiwan bees. Oh, one more thing. Feeding, sorry. These are the two that I use to feed these uh, shrimp. Algae wafers, which look like that. They're just little sort of sp um, spirulina algae wafers. Look a little bit like that. You drop them in the tank and the fish eat them as well. And this here, uh, these are mulberry leaves that are dried in the sun. So um, shrimp love them as well. You can use broccoli, carrots, spinach. You can freeze dry them. You can boil them and then chuck them in the tank and the shrimp will eat them. And uh, they love these, oh crap. <laughs> Ignore that. Yeah, so uh, let me just drop an algae wafer in. Uh, there we go. Oops. Let's drop down into there. And the shrimp will find it, hopefully. There you go. Little baby one. Little baby one found the algae wafer. And he's eating it. So. There you go, if you liked my video, please like and subscribe and I will make more videos like this in future. Bye bye.